So the bottleneck meta is establishing itself late in Madden 24, and I'm getting a lot of questions about man press and what you should be doing against these heavy blitz pressures that are mixed with two man under. So in today's video, we're gonna go over a few simple tips that can make your life so much easier against man to man coverage, especially when they're pressing the living bejesus out of you. I I might not sleep for 48 straight hours. Let's start off with one that a lot of players don't know, and that is the float trick with running back streaks in shotgun. So normally in shotgun, when you put a running back on a streak, he runs this little slow release out of the backfield and it just makes it for kind of a little jog and then he'll explode up the seam. In which case, this is a fine little pass lead that you can make behind the linebacker. This is a great tactic that you guys can use, which prevents safeties from being able to respond. Take a look right here in this two man under meta. I've got bottlenecks everywhere on this, especially the outsides. So you see my receivers are having a hell of a time getting off their jam. You notice how the safety fans out towards the sideline. The cool thing about this is that he's so far deep that when we notice our running back get behind the linebacker, we can tuck this throw inside pass lead down the seam and be able to pick up a huge gain. But it gets even deeper than this. What's up, guys? Just wanted to let you know, GridironGamePlans.gg will be expanding to also cover College Football 25. And you guys can take advantage of our College 25 pre-sale, which is gonna unlock every piece of content I put out. That's every vault tip, all offensive and defensive game plans, and members-only Discord access. This is the best deal that I offer all year long. If you guys have ever been plugged into the Madden side of things on Gridiron, this is what you can expect. In Madden 24 alone, we did over 300 vault tips, and we also had 11 offensive and defensive game plans. If you guys want to be plugged in, take advantage of the pre-sale. The link is below in the description. Now back to the video. Believe it or not, what you guys could do with the running back streak is float him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the running back in motion around the quarterback. I'm going to put him on a streak. You see right here, if I do this after he set, he gets that same outside release. But watch what happens when I motion him back across to his original position. Oh, boy! Yeah! He's now going to run directly down the middle with no outside jog release. This is huge because if you can buy time in the pocket, this allows you to run right by the man-to-man -man coverage and potentially work yourself into a one-play score. However, you should be careful because with this, unlike the slow jog version of the streak, he can draw the attention of the safety. This is a great candidate for a one play score if your opponent is ever lurking on the safety in two man under. There are a number of players that hate lurking on the linebacker because then they're guessing whether or not it's an in route, an out route, a Texas route, or if we're using this float trick, it might be a streak. And now all of a sudden they're guessing, are they running through the line and breaking over the middle? Are they running through the line and breaking outside? Or are they running through the line and staying straight right by me for a touchdown? So a lot of players might go to using this player. And the cool thing about this is you can actually use this trick while kind of messing with your opponent's mind. A lot of times they're gonna be, you know, kind of worried about the release of the B receiver, maybe a crossing route, you know, something that they can poach, of course. They're trusting their man-to-man -man press. So in a lot of cases, if they're kind of hanging out low, you know, hanging out here, this can end up being something where you could throw this provided that they get behind the guy right there. We kind of had some weird bumping that occurred, but you can end up getting behind that player for an easy score. So again here, if you're ever noticing that they are running their user on the safety in the half, this is a great candidate for you guys to rock because you'll be able to kind of catch them maybe snooze in a little bit where if they're just kind of hanging out super low, then you can walk right by it. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. I'll go ahead and user Carmichael on the right side. You know, if you catch them just kind of flat footed here and they're hanging out right there, then all of a sudden you're gonna be in a spot where you could, you know, maybe throw these balls over the top. Now this that I just threw with a velocity interception is number two on our tip, because I know a lot of you are like, well, that sucked. Well, the reason why some of these throws suck is truthfully that velocity hurts you against man-to-man -man coverage. Man-to-man -man plays so tight to your wide receivers in this game that the lower trajectory of a velocity ability can actually hurt you guys more than you think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in our backup quarterback. And what you're gonna notice out of this tip is that I'm gonna use this little float trick. And what we're gonna be doing here is trying to split this right down the middle. So here we go. We're going to use these corner routes, these little wheel routes. I'm sorry, these fade routes to get outside releases. We're trying to go right down center. You see that I run right by him. 
In this situation, you see that this trajectory comes in a lot lower. Now, again, from there, the point that I'm trying to make is that we were able to beat the player that was beat by the man-to-man. -man. The safeties were able to make this play happen. So if we were to kind of fuse together the two tips, what you might actually do is do the float trick, put the running back on a regular outside release streak. So that way the safeties get really, really deep here on this play and then run this streak out of the backfield. He's gonna cook his man and then boom, you hit this throw down the middle. You see how we were able to prevent anything from actually occurring. So that was really, really nice. Uh, again here, I'm gonna go and put this guy on this route. Uh, sorry, I want the regular streak, not the uh, not the the other one. So let's use this, reset my play here. I'm gonna motion him around. Wait till he's set. Put him on a regular streak so he releases like you see there. And then because I actually don't have velocity, this allows me to throw these balls into perfect spots where the KOs can't get there. The ball comes in a little bit later, allows me to steer the ball further away because there are less, I would say, of a uh, line drive trajectory. It's more over the top. And that allows me to feather that in in a perfect spot. So believe it or not, a lot of times when you're beating man to man, velocity is what's giving away the separation that you obtained. And in Madden right now, you're not getting a ton of separation against this bottleneck meta. So being able to feather these throws when you do have a step in over the top is going to be super, super key. Now, if you guys are enjoying today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed right here to the Zan Madden YouTube channel. We're always dropping content in the mornings with our 9 a.m. Eastern time uploads. So make sure you guys hit that notification bell, set your notifications live so you are on top of the game right as i post this content i have short form videos in the afternoon sometimes a bomb formula a way to counter a bomb formula a blitz setup a blitz pickup or just small tips that you see here in this countdown style video and also make sure you guys are heading over to gridiron game plans where we have our college football 25 pre-sale live if you guys lock in with me on madden you guys know just how much you get with that pre-sale offer this year in madden 24 we did over 300 vault tips and counting 11 offensive and defensive game plans members only discord access you guys can expect the same deal over on the college football side i can't wait to lock in on that game make sure you guys take advantage of it it's the best deal i offer all year long this will go until the game drops on july 19th now the next thing that we're going to talk about here as it pertains to man under or man press in general is that tight ends that have their hand in the dirt cannot be jammed so what we're going to do here is call a little two man and i'm going to call just an under center formation doesn't really matter now with this it's important to recall here we got this slot corner and man to man on our player with this we're going to be utilizing a corner route you see right here he's able to get off the jam and look how easily he was able if not for some random bumping he would have been right by that guy so with this you guys can take advantage of the fact that if you find formations in which you do have a tight end in line they actually do a really really good job of running right by their player some players won't want to use under center you guys can use shotgun formations as well again you see right here look how he gets right behind him now again from there you're going to be able to kind of pair this together with a variety of different route combos now of course if somebody's playing a cover one style defense or a cover zero style defense and they're shading down and blitzing you this is perfect because uh again this guy's usually going to get run right by so i might go ahead and load up for like a you know a, like a max protect style dealio going to be kind of up to you how you guys want to do this here but again when they're shading down playing press you usually get run right by so as long as you give yourself time i could be in a shotgun formation in fact i'm going to go into one right now this is a perfect candidate if you ever catch your opponent doing this bottleneck shade down nonsense this is really really easy to take advantage of just because uh is all you need is a formation where the tight end is actually hand in the dirt so here we go here's like a trio formation in this example here what we're actually going to do is i'm going to play just a kind of a press uh and you're going to see here again you, you can't jam this player he's a tight end so again you see right here just how viable this could be if you're getting some sort of shaded down or just man to man in general this guy cannot be pressed so he's gonna get free releases now this could be something where especially against the cover zero you're gonna have the lob over the top so again here that was more of a cover one so i wouldn't necessarily run a streak but if you're running like a cover zero style blitz a mid blitz you know a cover three sam will mike blitz um you know the cover zero version um you're gonna be able to run right by this as long as you pick up your protection and in a lot of cases you'll be able to lob over the top and this could be a one play score so tight ends are unbumpable but you guys also have other ways to kind of create some some unbumpable looks against the two man under meta as well in a lot of cases especially when there's two linebackers on the field you're going to be in a spot where if your opponent does like to play man to man you can actually motion out a player and that'll oftentimes force a player that can't be uh basically played 
in press alignment. So it doesn't matter what formation we're in here. You see, I've got a linebacker in this role. I might be able to actually go ahead and motion this guy out into the slot, which could then open up our ability to get a free release. Because again, that linebacker doesn't get the same jam. Now, why is that important? That's important because in some cases, you may decide, okay, well, I want that safety out of the play. I'm gonna go ahead and just run my tight end on a corner. I'm gonna go ahead and run a dagger concept where Dickerson's gonna just run right by his man. And then I could hit my in route over the middle, whatever it is I need to hit against the other man-to-man -man coverage. Now you saw right there how good the bottleneck was on Randy Moss, but you can clear out safeties in this way. Or to be honest with you, you have the ability in a lot of these looks to be able to kind of give yourself corner routes or uh, to motion or running back out to the flanker role, which causes a linebacker to have to follow him. So you see right here, look at how this linebacker is now lined up there. This is trouble because now what occurs is you're gonna have basically this linebacker that's gonna get run right by, and then you've got this tight end that can work down the seam. That's gonna end up making your life a lot tougher for those safeties to have to turn and bail right away. It's gonna give more room on the sidelines for clear out concepts for your corner routes to get open without a safety over the top being able to make a play. So again, just kind of take advantage of the fact that with these man-to-man -man looks, simple motion might line up a linebacker out in the slot. He can't get a jam animation or a simple motion all the way out to the out wide might pull a linebacker to that spot. And that can help you run right by unbumpable and get that safety cleared out. You don't always have to throw to the guy that's unbumpable. You might just want to use the free release to then pull that safety out of the play, which isolates more room for other man beaters on this play. So hopefully these simple tips can help you guys out with your man coverage scheming. Obviously, you know, some of it's a little bit off the meta path. Uh, not using velocity is something a lot of players don't really gel with sometimes, but I think obviously your backup quarterback probably doesn't have a velocity ability anyways. Give it a look. I mean, in two man under, you're going to find out right away that some of the throws that pass lead elite is actually causing interceptions. The rest of it, it's all conceptual. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab and good luck.